Alan Wake 2 is like L.A. Noir and Resident Evil 4 had a baby. The very beginning is super, super slow. I didn't get my first taste of combat an entire hour later because everything prior to that is spent doing a lot of storytelling and doing a lot of puzzle solving, which is cool. And I, I like that stuff from L.A. Noir investigating the murder trying to put the puzzle pieces together and all that that's cool that's really really badass i feel like for people that are adrenaline junkies that that need that constant shooting your gun and constantly headshots and and going crazy doing all that stuff then you're probably gonna hate this game so this is just a fair warning that this game is is more focused on storytelling and puzzle solving than action which can be a deal breaker for a lot of people out there. Other than that, this game is pretty goddamn immersive. I found myself walking pretty much everywhere because I want to be this person. I feel like I'm playing an RPG, like I am living in the shoes of this detective and also Alan Wake. The graphics are pretty goddamn impressive, even though I'm playing it on low settings on a 2070 Super. And it still runs pretty decent. I'm getting probably around 30 to 40 frames, which is fine. It's doable with a game like this. And the motion capture on this is absolutely insane. You could see the detail in their face. It looks so believable. It's crazy. Overall, this is a pretty enjoyable experience. I highly recommend it. Especially if you're a fan of the first game, then this is a must play. But for the action junkies, I would say stay away from this game.